Okay, so I wanted to make this video just to give you a bit of an explanation behind the word meta in titles. Now, whenever you see this FC25 word meta, just completely ignore it. Now, I understand, maybe a lot of people don't understand online SEO game. They don't understand how it, how it works. YouTube is extremely competitive and only a few people are very lucky enough to do this full time. Um, I'm one of those people that are very, very lucky after many years to build my reputation. And even in my tutorials, I only do meta stuff, okay? Now, if I tell you a technique that becomes the meta, so like previously I predicted four backs and center back, um, you know, certain formations, five backs, three, five, twos, before they became meta, I only deal with top tier squad builders. So everything that I talk about gives you the best performance inside the game. Meta stands for most effective technique or tactic available. And everything that I do, will give you the best thing, time finishing, best shooting styles, best everything. That's my job. Now, whenever you see the word meta in a title, just ignore it. And if you can't ignore it, they just don't click or even go on YouTube because what you don't understand is half of these people here are barely making a living. Okay. Now the tutorial scene year on year is going down 30%, 30% viewership year on year is going down 30%. I have employees, I have to pay their wages. There's other people, for example, who are on the tutorial scene that they've either quit, they've either quit tutorials altogether, or they've just diversified into other content. Viewership is going down year on year, even though it's becoming less saturated and there's less people making tutorials. Of course, I'm able to survive because of my reputation and I outwork everyone. I work 20 hour days for like one month in October. That's the only reason why I'm, I can, I'm, I'm actually doing well and of course i understand the game inside out not everyone is gonna does has knowledge that i have on the game and of course the ability to explain things like i do but i just want to explain if you ever see this in a title just ignore it because this is just done for seo purposes half of these videos for example these videos for example like i just want to give you just a rough example right like these five attacking tips right these videos probably cost more to make actually the money i'll get from this so i'm just gonna i'm not even gonna can't even skip my own ad bit of shambles but anyway but um i'll give myself one p whatever it is less than a p um but it's something that's very very important a lot of people always ask me this question and i'm sick and tired of answering it because i always think it's a bit of common sense but then it's naive for me to think that because you have to understand not everyone understands social media and um, these are currently nowadays the ads that you see okay so i'll give you an example yeah so this video here, the cost to produce, it might cost up to 50 to a hundred pounds to produce a video. Okay. From 23,000 views, I don't think I'm a large analytics, but I can tell you for a fact, I'll be lucky if I made 23 pounds. Um, I'll say about 23 pounds to about 40 pounds. So most of the videos that you're actually making, you're actually operating at a loss. The way I subsidize it, is that I have videos, for example, like this one, the squad builders that just doesn't take that much editing skill. Of course, my knowledge to build a squad builders, and that's how it works. This is the YouTube game. If you don't like the word meta and you're upset about it, and I understand that some people just don't understand the social media, but they don't understand business. Let's be realistic. Then don't bother clicking on YouTube. Don't even click on the meta titles, but understand everything you're going to see is going to have the word meta. So whenever you see something, ignore the word meta. If you see, for example, meta build up, ignore the word, just think of it up, build up tutorial. And I said to you, that's what you need to understand because every creator is doing this. And if you don't write the word meta in, your views tank significantly, significantly. And how do I know this? Because I've done testing, I've changed titles over time, I've removed the word meta, and the views go significantly down. So I understand this. This is a doggy dog world. It's the most fierce competition. Most people here are not even doing this for a living. They're doing this part-time. I'm very fortunate to be in the position I am. Worked hard to get it. And I have employees pay. So I'm going to keep writing meta in my titles. And if you are going to think about joining the tutorial market, I also advise people on, I do coaching on a side for content creators, um, how to start your business, how to monetize it, how to grow. So on my advice, you don't even bother entering this field. Um, but you could probably see that you don't believe me. Go, go type in FC 25 tutorials. Go look at anyone on that list that you search. Go look at their videos. One, two, three years ago, even five, six years ago, everyone's views are going down. So whenever you see a title in, in the meta in their videos, whenever you see the word meta, just completely ignore it. So yeah, every single time 
you see the word meta, just ignore it. Best advice I can give you. A lot of people are doing good videos, for example, like I'm sure, like in my HDO, do amazing video. Now easy. Um, why I'm sure all these people, um, Alex, and a lot of these people will do good videos, but just ignore the word meta. Simple as. And a lot of the time when you watch the video, you'll understand what kind of video it is. It's just simply just for interactions, just for clicks. Remember that people are doing this content for free. Without that, people won't be making this content. And at the end of the day, those videos won't be up there. Just remember that.